you guys, Damage the Gamer here, back with more TV, movies, and games galore, baby. Now, we'll do this video because it is San Diego Comic Con weekend, and we will get MCU news tomorrow at like, oh, my time is what, around 10? 10, 10 p.m. But before we get into the video, please be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. Now let's get into it, baby. First, we got the Black Widow movie that's already filming, um, starring, of course, Scarlett Johansson. I don't know if it's going to be a prequel or not. I'm assuming it is since, spoiler alert, what happened in Avengers Endgame, um, she sacrificed herself, or the snap did work, and um, for Hulk. If you guys didn't know what I'm talking about, Hulk Snap wished that um, Natasha could come back and she didn't, but what if she did and she went into hiding? Who knows? We'll find out when the movie comes out or, or when the trailers come out. We actually got a lot of news about the Black Widow movie. It will have Yelena Belova, who's played by Florence Pugh, and we'll also have Taskmaster. I don't know who he's played by. I don't think is um, David Harbour because that didn't look like David Harbour it's put like that unfortunately I do not think we're getting a trailer moving on we have the Eternals movie that's coming out I already cast Angelina Jolene as some role I don't probably Cersei to be honest because she's gonna have she's gonna have a big role let's be honest it's Angelina Jolene and I'm hearing that Keanu Reeves may be in some MCU film, hopefully in Eternals. And I also believe Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things was rumored to be in Eternals as well. I'm not sure, but moving on um, to Thor 4. We actually got some news this week. I actually thought they was gonna save it to a Comic-Con, but hey, we got it early. Taika Waititi would be directing again for Thor. Honestly, he should have been directing from the beginning because it was trash. The first two, I'm sorry for the um, people that love the first two, but I did not like it. It was not my favorite MCU movies. It was trash to me, but he's directing Thor 4. I'm so excited. Moving on to Spider-Man, what, 3? Spider-Man 3, yes, my bad. Spoiler <laughs> alert for anybody that's watching the video, click off now. At the ending of Spider-Man Far From Home, Mysterio framed Peter for his death and everybody knows his secret that he's his Spider-Man now. So we are getting, I believe we're getting news on what's next for Spider-Man. I also think we're getting a timeline on where we can get all these movies, the schedule um, from Comic-Con. I know they have D23 this year, so I think they're going to do it at Comic-Con. Um, I also believe that they will save the Marvel shows that's going to be on their streaming service for D23 because I think it's all about the movies this time. I don't think it's going to be about um, the Loki series or Scarlet Witch, Witch series. Also look out for more Black Panther news, um, more Captain Marvel news, and more Doctor Strange news since we haven't seen those characters in a while. Um, so hopefully we get some updates on the movies in, at San Diego Comic Con on Saturday. I'm also hoping that we get the Fantastic Four news on Saturday since it's been a long time since we've seen them, seen them on screen. So hopefully we get that. I just hope we don't get Peyton Reed as the director, the one that directed Ant-Man and Ant-Man the Wasp. I did not like those movies. But anyway, I spent a little time talking. Uh, let me know what you guys think we're getting from San Diego Comic Con Marvel panel in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. Peace.